I guess it's winter time in Florida. It is freaking cold outside, oh my God. <clears throat> All right, so I've got this little trick I wanted to show you guys. Uh, anybody that does photography and sells prints or artists that sell prints and you're making mock-ups for sites like Etsy, eBay, uh, your own website, anywhere you're gonna be having a mock-up where people look at and wanna buy your prints. Uh, this is pretty handy because you don't wanna have a mock-up that somebody looks at and it's not accurate to what, you, what you're what uh, you selling. Such as, let's say you're selling a eight by 10 print, art print, photography print, whatever. And you have a mock-up and you have like a living room scene with a sofa, which is what I'm gonna be using in this video. And uh, you're selling eight by 10, but your mock-up looks like the picture's, you know, six foot by four foot or something ridiculous on the wall. And when people see it, they might buy it thinking that's what they're getting and then they get an eight by 10 and they'll be pissed off. And you know, it is what it is. So I'm gonna show you all a quick trick you can do in Photoshop to match the size of your print that you're selling to the scene that you're uh, using as your mock-up. So uh, let's jump into that real quick. So we're in Photoshop here, that's what I'm gonna be using. And I have a, uh, a generic scene here that I, I Googled it, uh, living room, sofa, mock-up scene. It's just something that came up. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our scene that we've brought into Photoshop. I'm not gonna do anything to the background layer, which is the primary layer here. I usually leave that in case I have any snafus. So what we're gonna do is just Control J. Oh, gotta highlight Photoshop. Control J and duplicate the layer. Now, we don't want this frame in the background. So we're gonna select that. Hit sh hold Shift and hit F5. And our fill is already set to content aware. So we're just gonna hit OK or hit Enter, whatever. And that'll go bye bye, okay. So now we have a blank wall, we have a sofa. Now we gotta have some artwork. So let's open up something here. Uh, I got a picture here of a shrimp boat. I took this picture last year. I freaking love this picture. It's probably one of my favorite pictures that I've done so far. But uh, we're gonna do, let's, we're gonna make a 24 by, or a 36 by 24 mock-up. Let's say we're selling a canvas print. So we want 36 by 24. So we're gonna need a two, two to three ratio. So what I'm gonna do is unlock this. We're gonna hit C for crop. We got three by two already selected up here. It's gonna adjust it a little bit. I'll do that. I'm gonna adjust it just a wee little bit. And get just the sweet spot. Let's see what we got here. Keep that wave in the bottom. I like that wave in the foreground. And that's good. Now we're gonna do Control A, select all. Control C to copy. We're gonna go back to our mock-up. We're gonna go hit the little plus button down here for our new layer and Control V to paste it. That's huge, so we're gonna have to zoom out and scale it down. Doesn't matter what size it is, we're just gonna drag it in <clears throat> to our scene. Now we're gonna hit Control one to bring this back, oh, Control zero, my bad, to bring this back to a full screen where your mock-up's taking up the full window in Photoshop. So now we got our art. It's cropped to a three to two ratio for my needs here. So now what we wanna do is <clears throat> make the size of our print match the scene. So we have a sofa here and let's say you're selling eight by 10 and you're making a mock-up. You don't want your mock-up to look like, hey, here's my eight by 10 print sitting on a coffee table. If somebody's gonna buy it, and they're gonna go to use it as a coffee table, and it's, you know, when they get it, it's gonna be that size. And that's no bueno. So, simple way to do this, let's drag it out, is we're gonna use the analysis tool in Photoshop here to take a measurement and use that to scale our image. So to do that, we've got a sofa here, and if you go do a quick search, most full-size sofas are 84 inches wide. It's pretty standard. So if we know this sofa's 84 inches wide, we can use the scale tool to uh, scale our uh, artwork to that size for the image. So uh, what you want to do here is just go up to image, 
Oh, make sure your background layer is highlighted, not your uh, main layer. Go to Image, Analysis, Set Measurement Scale, and go to Custom. Now you're going to have a dialog box pop up that says Pixel Length is going to be important. That's one we're going to need. Logical Length and Logical Units. So what we're going to do here, when this pops up, you're also going to have a ruler tool pop up. Now when you go to measure this to do your uh, scaling, you want to measure on the same plane that your artwork is going to be on. So if your art is on the wall behind the couch, you want to measure the part of the couch that is closest to the wall. Don't measure it out here and set that because you're going to be all out of whack when you go to do it. You want to put your point at the part of the couch closest to the wall. So that back corner, let's zoom in a little bit here. This back corner of the sofa, that cushion should be right against the wall. So we're going to Put the first marker there, come over to the other side, grab this point. And if you hold shift, it'll keep the line straight. So we're just going to drag that right to about that back corner. So now it's got a number of 1,632 pixels. We know that the couch is 84 inches wide. So we're going to say that that pixel length is 84 logical units inches. So now we're telling Photoshop that that the back of that couch is 84 inches. That's all Photoshop needs to know. So once we've set our scale, Photoshop knows the back of this couch is 84 inches. Now we gotta do is figure out how many pixels is 36 inches and we can scale our artwork down so it matches the sofa. And this is really simple to do. What you're gonna do is go get your ruler tool. It might be somewhere else on your toolbar. You might have to go to your other toolbar tools to find it. But once you get your ruler tool, you're going to want to drag out a line and we're going to set this line to right around 36 inches to find out how many pixels it is. Now, right now you'll notice this box up here is displaying pixels, right? We don't know how many pixels exactly is 36 inches. So to do that, you're going to check use measurement scale. Now it's displaying this line in inches. So if you hold shift and just drag this line up till it's just about at 36, if it's not exactly 36, it's okay. We're just, this is just for a mock-up. Everything's right. So 35.98, that's pretty damn close to 36 inches. Now, if we uncheck use measurement scale, that's gonna display that as 699 pixels. So now we know how many pixels is 36 inches. So now to scale our image, we're gonna make sure we have our artwork layer mock-up highlighted. We're gonna go to properties, which if you don't have this window, just go to window properties, make sure that's checked. And in our width, we're going to type in 699. I'm just going to round up to 700 just for the hell of it. And now when you click inside the height box here, it's going to automatically adjust it based on our scale of two to three that we have our artwork set at. So 466. So this right here should be a pretty accurate display of what a 36 by 24 piece of art would look like on a wall behind a sofa. If we take our, zoom in a little bit, if we take our ruler tool and we measure the height of this, zoom in so we can get a pretty close one. Set our first point right on the edge, right there. And let's drag it down here to the bottom edge. And we hit use measurement scale, 23.99 inches. So it is set it. So it's all based on the proportions we did before we, when we cropped before we brought it in. But now you have a 36 by 24 print represented on your mock-up. So you could put this over here. If you wanted to do a, a display showing different sizes, how they look, let's say you had a 12 by 18 option you wanted. You could copy this, have a copy of it, use our ruler tool, Make sure measurement scale is selected. We're gonna drag it out 18 inches. Width is at 18, right there. Up uh, 18.01 was really damn close. Right there. So as you can see, width 18.01 inches. Uncheck this, 350 pixels wide. So we're gonna make sure we have our new picture selected we're going to highlight 700 and we're going to type in 350. 
click in the height box and it's going to adjust it. And now you have an 18 by 12. Now, if you want to, you could pull up your text tool and you could type in 36 by 24, 18 by 12, all that, whatever you wanted to put under here. But when somebody looks at the picture now, looks at your mock-up, they're going to have a pretty good idea what it would look like in their living room behind a full-size sofa. So there's really no unintentional deceit going on and people are getting what they're paying for, which is a good thing. It's, it's just going to save you a headache down the road if you ever had one of those customers that doesn't really go in and read everything and they trust pictures too much. I've made this mistake. That's why I'm showing you all this. But anyways, that's quick and dirty. The more you do it, you do it a couple times. I mean, this is going to be like second nature to you and all your mock-ups are going to be really, really accurate to the artwork that you're selling. So with this little method here, you're going to have artwork that is accurate to your scene. It's a really good depiction of what somebody's going to be buying. They'll be more likely to spend the money buying it from you, possibly. And when they get it, it's going to be what they saw. So that's less headache for you and the customer. But uh, anyways, I hope this was helpful. If you like the videos, please, please like and subscribe. Uh, I plan on making more of these and my production quality should get better as I make these because I'm a little bit rusty on my Premiere Pro and my video editing stuff, but bear with me, it's gonna get better. Anyways, till next time, y'all take it easy, stay safe, and uh, keep shooting those photos.